Let's talk about ArcGIS Server. What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nelson from IGM Tree Podcast, and welcome to another podcast, everybody. Oh, yeah, it's been a while, uh, yeah, since I recorded any podcast in this anchor channel, and yeah. Uh, I don't know how long this uh, podcast is going to be, but a few minutes, could be more. Uh, we're going to talk about ArcGIS Server. So let's start with um, what is ArcGIS Server. So ArcGIS Server is a technology, it's a product developed by ESRI. And uh, the main reason for developing this technology is to elevate the technology to the services architecture essentially so traditionally what we used to do is uh, you have a client you have a machine then you would install a, a thick client like ArcGIS uh, ArcMap or ArcGIS Pro and then you have your database uh, either sitting um, in the same machine or in, in, uh, in, in another machine in the same network essentially and then you would establish a direct connection to that database do an edit or maybe you're editing some local files shape files file g database personal g database that's as always the way it have been so the problems or, or the limitations of that is, is shareability that one I can think of is uh, when I want to edit it's basically I need access to this network and uh, especially in the multi user uh, database enterprise geo databases you would need uh, the essential software to connect and consume these uh, databases like if you're, you have your Oracle or SQL Server or Postgres, your client, your thick client, your, your software need to understand how to send and receive connections and transactions and do all that stuff, right? And usually you do this through the local TCP connection. So what's wrong with that, right? So nothing really wrong with that. That works. The problem is like your client now has to understand this and in order to understand you have to add these libraries these oracle dlls or whatever right it has to have the oracle client or or the knowledge the software has to be like bundled with your application so that creates another problem which is portability so i can't just uh i can't just write my software on top of uh any any language that I prefer I have to pick a specific language because there is certain drivers uh, that comes with this for this language like if it's, you're using C sharp to build your application uh, then you're stuck to, with Windows and this particular drivers like a the Oracle client for example so what's the solution for this solution is introduced a protocol that is understandable by almost all clients as a standard and uh, what the technology seems to be moving towards is http protocol one and two and uh, essentially services so we would build all this libraries all these functionality into what we call rest api functions and then that rest api at the back end will do the work that you we used to do like it will have the necessary apis it will have the necessary libraries will have just 
it, it will know how to connect to the database and, and how to edit and how, do all that work. But what, by adding this extra layer, now we introduced basically services. And that's what ArcGIS server is mainly uh, is, is really good at. So you would, uh, you would take your geodatabase or you take your uh, feature class and you would publish it to ArcGIS server. And then just by publishing it, you now exposed that feature class as quote unquote layer on top of ArcGIS server. And now to access this layers, now you don't have the full 100% capabilities that you used to have with the feature class. You're reduced to, to less and less, less and less stuff. But you added, uh, you essentially added uh, more, that's not entirely true actually, but you, you essentially added this extra layer and then you exposed functionality on top of that. The good thing about this is you're now agnostic of whatever that feature cloud resides in. I'm communicating with a service, I send a query, the query, the rest and point always look the same, it uh, doesn't care if it's uh, Oracle or Postgres or whatever, right? And uh, it will basically send that query back to the database, execute it, and returns for you whatever format that you, that you, that you prefer. Uh, essentially, most probably we use JSON, uh, but now in the, the new technology, we're hoping to introduce uh, protobuf, Google protocol buffers as a binary format to make the um, payload less and less. And uh, let's, let's say this is the first ArcGIS server episode. Guys, if you have any questions, tweet me at a at H-N-A-S-R, or just as Google I Geometry, you'll find me there. And we're going to see you in the next episode. Stay awesome.